coming up tonight on Fifth Third Business Beat. He's an accomplished businessman, but it's his personal story that may make him successful in his new venture. The owners of this restaurant hope their new riverfront location helps them expand into other neighborhoods. Christ Hospital starts the prep work for more growth. This company owner takes a hard look at how he does business and the changes he made drives up profits. Dan Monk reports that the Bengals want to revise an agreement the team has with Hamilton County. Dan Case, Vice President of Strategic Initiatives and Entrepreneurial Development at Cincinnati State, joins Crystal Faulkner for Financial Beat. Sean Kelly, Managing Partner at Kelly Investment Group, tells us what being named as one of the Courier's best places to work has meant for his firm. John Augustine has a look at the economic climate as we start this new year. And Catherine Merchant, CEO of the Greater Cincinnati Foundation, is my guest for Publishers Beat. Fifth Third Business Beat is brought to you by Fifth Third Bank. Hello, I'm Doug Bolton. Welcome to Fifth Third Business Beat for Friday, January 7, 2011. On the front page, each year the Business Courier recognizes the best places to work in Greater Cincinnati. They're chosen from a field of entries after employees complete an anonymous online survey. We begin a new series on Business Beat tonight where we'll hear from the winners what the honor means for their organizations. First up is a first-time winner, Sean Kelly, managing partner of Kelly Financial Group. First of all, congratulations, Thank Sean, you. on the, uh, the honor. What, what has this meant now? Uh, the last couple of months you've been rel relishing in the, uh, the experience. What's it meant to your firm? Well, I think morale is high there usually, but it, it's been a boost of morale. Uh, it's been a confirmation that what we do is important and that uh, we have a great place to work. So it's been very helpful. We have the award sitting right in the front lobby. Yeah. What, what uh, if anything, did your organization learn as a result of going through the process? Well, I think we learned how important it is uh, uh, to have an efficient team. And I think, you know, we have a team where everybody knows what the, the mission is of the company. Everybody is clear on their roles. Uh, uh, and we all collaborate. And I think it was an affirmation that uh, we're doing things the right way. What do you think you, uh, you actually did to earn this title? You know, I think by creating an environment where people can grow personally and professionally and people can thrive and uh, that's important to employees and they really enjoy working in an environment where they have fun and they have friends and they're doing work that I think is important for the greater good. What, what kinds of things do you do to keep your employees engaged? I think, Doug, when, when people know what the mission is, when they know what the vision is of the organization and they're clear on their roles and we don't have to micromanage them, they have responsibility to do things that they're uh, empowered to do, uh, it keeps people engaged, it keeps them motivated, it keeps them excited to come back into the, the office. They feel like they have real ownership there. Now the Best Places to Work uh, Award distinguishes you from your competitors. What are some other things that uh, make you different than your competitors out there? Well, I think there are three big things and, and they might sound simple but I don't think they can be overstated. One is we're a mutual company so our clients own the company. Uh, two is our financial strength. We have the highest financial ratings in the industry and always have had them and carried them all the way through these tough times. And three, our advisors focus on financial security, not just investment planning but financial security for their clients. Now what does uh, 2011 look like uh, for, you, for your company? Well we're excited to say we just re-signed a 10-year lease uh, so we're going to stay in the Rookwood Tower for 10 more years. Uh, we're rebuilding the space. It's almost finished, uh, which is significant because we're, I think, 145 years in the community now. And we're still looking to grow. We're still going to be bringing on new financial advisors. Very good. Thanks, Sean. For more information about the nomination process and the requirements for Best Places to Work, log on to CincinnatiBusinessCourier.com. Click on Events and then Nominations to find the Best Places to Work link. The nomination process is now underway for this year and there's no cost to participate.